Hello everyone, uh, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this uh, old video you're gonna find a two brief uh, readings which are career and relationship to your representative star sign that refers to the week 13th to 18th of July 2020 and uh, as usual if you do want a personal reading you can check out the description down below and there you're gonna find a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such and another thing is that I have um, made the tarot class the tarot class a flash sale but I never announced it to you so you who are following me on YouTube you never knew about that it's 30% off and in order to get to this uh, to this sale uh, you have to message me on my uh, Facebook page and I'm gonna sort you out from there so uh, with uh, that being said, the sale is uh, on for one more week. And with that being said, lay back and enjoy the show. Right, so uh, we have Scorpio, Sun, Moon and uh, Rising as well in our hands. And uh, let's have a look uh, what Scorpio are to face. Uh, in this particular week, our uh, first thing that we're going to look at is going to be uh, the career wise. So let me shuffle guys and... Uh, Let's take a look at the cards. Right, so uh, the first card we have as a career that become that will oh my god that, that will be uh, the king of wands. Uh, followed by the Page of Pentacles into the second position. Now moving next, we do have the King of Pentacles and the last one for us. That wow, that is going to be the King of Swords. So it's uh, quite a very uh, cramped, a um, quite a very cramped thing uh, of the week, and I I definitely see how this kind of like unfolds uh, for me. Uh, but my case is going to it, it is very specific okay but nonetheless here uh, again the cards let me show you again the cards so we do have the king of wands the page of pentacles the king of pentacles and uh, the um the king of swords so what we do have is some kind of a um you would say it's thing that had to happen in terms of your career uh, or it's inevitable to happen one way or another throughout your throughout our a career development and now it's happening throughout this week now if um, that could be a merging of a companies you know that could be an offer for a I don't know uh, for example advertisements uh, or it could be a, an offer for a, a position that's uh, one way or another should you continue on with your career should have happened uh, and uh, this week things are gonna happen rather a, a bit difficult uh, in a bit more difficult fashion in term of this uh, either a proposition or a door that opens in front of you Scorpio um, in one or another way now that is because uh, your hour I don't know why I always say yours but our conditions are going to be a, a little bit uh, different than the conditions which are offered by the other party uh, and um, it's uh, that the whole week is going to be a week where uh, the conditions are to be negotiated. Now, unfortunately, we are going to be a bit short-sighted here, okay? So uh, pretty much we, we won't be able to see, at least at the very start of it, to see the big picture, you know, of how lucrative and productive that thing could be. So should you be approached by, say, a company to um, be their ambassador or should you be how can I say approached by a, a somebody that sees potential in you shooting you away with an offer it may look appealing at the start uh, but it works considering and uh, definitely whatever uh, the proposition is whatever the conditions or the circumstances surrounding that offer may be they could be definitely renegotiated here now we do have the king of swords at the end of the reading for our career development and that clearly says that regardless of what kind of um, setbacks I don't know how to say it, you know terms of conditions that we are not 
very thrilled by, you know, so I can only name them set, setbacks. So regardless of what kind of a setbacks we do face throughout this um throughout these negotiations, throughout this merge, depending on uh, what kind of a situation you are, this thing is going to develop in a different way. But uh, that sh should we, and I mean under we, I mean everybody that involves into the situation, uh, it's willing to give it a careful analysis and to take under the consideration everybody's well-being, uh, a way out of those plights um, are to be found. Okay. So, uh, where that plight comes from, uh, I mean, the, the difficulty of, of taking the offer or difficulty of the offering hand to change the offer, well, it is because there is a, a slight misinterpretation of ambition. Uh, it is the only way how I, can, uh, how I can say it. So, your ambition is different than their ambition. And uh, I watched the YouTube channel few months ago I think and the guy is very popular it was a fitness YouTube channel and the guy does not promote anything it's the only thing that he said he, he promotes only one thing and it's pretty much the same kind of a concept here the guy said that he would never promote anything that he does not believe in and that he would not use himself and that's kind of respectable and it is something that happens with us throughout this week as well that we are not going to entirely believe that what we are going to do either promote promote or get ourselves involved in and so on and so forth is something that we would we would like okay so we are not going to see a future into it and again um the that could be accomplished i mean seeing the future can be accomplished can be accomplished should we give enough time contemplating and uh, as well analyzing it okay because uh, should we analyze it then a, a plan or rather like a strategy is going to be um, acquired manifested established was the word that I was searching for that will be very very effective and on the plus side we do have the king of pentacles so whomever is the approacher um, is willing to give you know it's a, it's a very generous approach okay um, it's a very generous company it's a very generous friend it's a very generous uh, boss or so on and so forth but they do expect in return okay they are not just gonna honor they're, they're not just going to lay their hands on you with uh, with their grace I just expect nothing back so uh, it's it's very important that we are also willing to do what they ask and they are to do what we ask as well. Now, on the more uh, general note in terms of career, that week should be uh, focused on developing our current things, okay? Our, our current projects, our current uh, businesses, you know, and our current tasks indeed. Uh, and only when we have them 100% secured, only then we can turn our look toward a, a new things. And that's why whatever contracts should you have to uh, sign certain contracts throughout the week, Scorpio, those contracts should not affect your current development. And that could be a one reason why you may not see it very appealing at the very start of the, uh, of the negotiation. Those who are looking for a, uh, those who, the, who are looking for a work, probably they're going to find a very suitable job uh, opportunity to, to get to a very suitable job that is going to be as well very demanding. And so the most likely vision that you're going to have upon the job, it is just a temporary one. So that was in term, just let me gain control over my camera here, guys, I'm sorry. So that was in term of our career. It is a bit, see, it was a bit long one. Oh my God, it was a bit a long one but it's just i struggled with explaining it so yeah i mean regardless of what it is are we uh in in job or not or rather like are we work or not uh, this week is gonna offer us and an opportunity let's say it that way uh, although i don't see it that much because to me opportunity means something that comes out of nowhere this is something based on our you know capabilities qualities whatever you know you name it so it's pretty much we worked for it we do deserve it and it will be a shame if we do not catch it so that being said moving next we do have our a, a love matters throughout the week so let's have a look what we are to uh, experience here
So uh, first card for us <laughs> in terms of love that is going to be the two of cups. Moving next, we do have the eight of uh, wands followed by uh, the four of cups, and uh, at the last we do have the um, wheel of fortune that is so me, guys. I mean, uh, well, I will give you this this concept here. And that is something that, and I also um, kind of like uh, discuss this with all of my clients and they see big reason behind it. And that was going to be exactly our undoing throughout this week. So um, whenever I develop interest in somebody, okay, uh, that is just how I, how I do in life, I immediately share my interest. And uh, it's, it's pretty much an unyielding sharing. What I mean is that if they say no, that's great. So they say no for good. So I never turn back, I never come back. And uh, in the 99% of uh, the cases, I do share my interest in a bit premature way, so it's almost granted that things doesn't happen. And it is exactly what we should not do throughout the week in, with our uh, people of interest or with our current partners as well, uh, if you will. Now, the week itself, uh, for what it seems, those who are looking for love or those which are in a relationship, uh, they're going to have what they're looking for. We do have the Two of Cups here at the start of the reading, so there is no mistake in it. Even if you don't have any any suitor at the moment, if you, even if you don't have anybody who is interested in you, then this week, most likely, not most likely, but almost certainly, uh, somebody is going to appear that is going to show interest. Now, are you going to see that interest? Well, that depends entirely on you. Uh, if you are too stubborn into somebody else you know you may not even see who else has interest in you and you can completely miss the uh, opportunity that this week gives you and as we can see at the end we do have the wheel of fortune and there is only one way interpreting this card in that particular narrative that that is your once in a lifetime opportunity to to make one of a kind type of relationship that is going to be a good one don't get me wrong but you should not rush it okay here we do have the uh, Eight of Wands into the second position of the spread and uh, acting impulsively, acting prematurely, uh, rushing things around, pretty much uh, it's condemning everything that you have made built up until now with your boyfriend or a girlfriend, with your husband or a wife or with your person of interest to be doomed because the Ace of the, oh my God, the Eight of Wands it's a car high risk high uh, a type of a car high risk high reward and when you and it's pretty much it's kind of like a all or nothing type of bet and you don't want to make that bet okay that that's the whole point you hear you need to avoid doing risky maneuvers in terms of love if you are not certain that that person has interest in you and that they will succumb to your interest if you will then don't show it it's uh, it's better to move along with time because the more we move along with time with that individual or husband or a wife you know or our boyfriend or a girlfriend or with with our person of interest as well the more the emotional connection is going to develop uh by uh, and by the end of this road uh, it's pretty much we and they as well because they would want the same thing uh, are going to have it in uh, in the back and again those who are looking for love they're going to have the opportunity throughout this week to uh to fall in love are they gonna fall in love well that depends entirely on them and uh, what their decision in regards to that is going to be because you know you may have the person that you have a chance to get to fall in love with but you may never give them a chance because falling in love is a process it's not an event so that being said this was our love tarot reading um and our tarot readings in general uh for the week for the upcoming week. Thank you so much for watching and we're gonna see each other next time. Until then, bye.